hey guys welcome to my channel i'm georgia if you're new welcome and if you're not welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i prep for my three-day weekend so when i have weekend on what i do to prep my meals um to make sure that i'm eating healthy and um, make sure that i'm eating the right thing so you know when you go to work and you don't really have your food set aside you normally just eat a lot of junk food so what i do is i do pack a lot of um a lot of nutrition nutrition dense food so i can have and i don't feel hungry or feel like i'm craving for any sweets or any unhealthy snacks so let's go ahead and start this video but before we get started make sure you guys go ahead like the video share the video subscribe and also leave a comment down below so let's get started with the video so first uh, first um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my overnight uh, my overnight oats I really love that and you can do so much different things with it like you can put so much different things in it and just make it tasty as how you want it to be it doesn't have to be like one specific um, like one specific ingredients or one specific thing that you have to do but uh, let me just get started and show you guys exactly what I do okay so let's get started so I have my three containers I have um, some honey and some almond milk this is vanilla my Quaker oats my fruits and berries so what I do first is I take my oats and I just put Then I'm gonna make them different, so I'm gonna just put some blueberries.
this one. This one is tropical fruit blend. So this one have pineapple, mango, papaya, and also um, coconut. So I'm gonna put this one in there also. So this is how it looks. Okay, so this is how they look. So this one is just um, strawberries and berries. So a berry, berry berry. That's what we're gonna call this one, berry berry. Then this one is a tropical. It's tropical blend. It has papaya, coconut, and the pineapple. And then this one is just berries it and I'm gonna let that sit for overnight and it should be good and then you can just you can shake it up if you want you do whatever you want with it and then you just put those in the fridge and uh, that's your meal that's one of your meals okay so you just put those in the fridge until um i have work and then i just take out one of each and that's what i eat okay so now let's start the main course what i bring to work so i brought the oats you know the overnight oats and then i bring chicken we are you're gonna see how exactly how i do the chicken so get my cutting board i have my chicken right here so these are chicken breasts it's not a it's just like one a little piece then this big piece and then a next piece okay so three pieces just say two and a half pieces of um, chicken breast and then I just cut them let me show you I'm gonna be using black pepper I mean some garlic powder some onion powder Bacon jerk seasoning, um, seasoning. So, if you do not have this one, you can just pick up any Jamaican jerk seasoning and a little bit of salt. So that's about it. You just want to massage your seasoning 
inside the chicken if if you're gonna cook the chicken at the same time you can add a little bit of oil and it will let the chicken marinate even faster or you can just put it in the fridge for maybe like 10 to 20 minutes to marinate so now we're going to just cook it So um, I love onions, so I normally like saute the onions and then add it with my with my chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off so you guys can see. So I'm gonna just add some of this on it. So this is Jamaican browning to just give it color because I don't want to cook it out too much to let it um to let it be dry because I don't like my chicken too dry. I'm not gonna add a, li a lot, just that little bit, and that is a lot, but. That will let my chicken brown. So we need to mix it up. Some color. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the pot just to let it steam, um, steam a little bit. I have a tomato, so this is like a salad, um, some cucumber. And then this is some um, classic iceberg salad. So I'm just going to show you how I do um, for just that one day. It's the same thing that I'm going to be doing for the rest of the days. Basically, I get my salad. So like that. And I do like this because it's going to be for three days so i just cut that right there so i'm going to have um, three pieces you know and then when i'm doing my cucumbers i don't peel all the skin off i like oh yeah i don't peel all the skin off i do it like this like that so it's like you know, you still have a little bit of skin, a little bit of rock skin.
for the vegetables, you know. Gonna be the vegetable. I'm gonna put some tomato at the side. Like that. And I love tomatoes. And then this is supposed to be for three days. So. Four pieces of the chicken right there. And then I'm gonna put my onions on top once my onions are finished. So now that my onion is like sauteed and everything, I'm gonna just put it on my food. Just add it like that, you know, and that's it. Just cover it, and this is what I bring to work. Sometimes I don't really eat any dressing. If I do eat dressing, I bring um, my ranch, but you can pair it with whatever dressing you like if you want to, but. Okay, so now, so this is how everything look. So you guys saw how I made the overnight oats. And then this is what I'm bringing to work for the next three days. This look nice. Um, I love it because it has so much different fruits. I mean, so much different vegetables inside of this. And it's like, you don't really have any carbohydrates. You know, you have high protein and um, vegetables which is really good for like weight loss or to maintain your weight so yeah so thank you guys for watching um let me turn the camera around. thank you guys for watching um make sure you guys go ahead like the video share the video subscribe and also leave a comment down below if you guys like this kind of content let me know and i'll be happy to share other tips and tricks with you guys um my other like my other overnight uh, my other other overnight oats that i usually make um because i have like different different recipes but it's like the same basic ingredients where you do have to have the milk and um you don't have to have the honey if you don't want to because the milk is already sweetened but i kind of i like sweet things and adding the honey is a natural sweetener so you can't go wrong right wrong right there so thank you guys for watching the video make sure you guys like the video share the video subscribe and also leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys